The capacity of self-advancement. It's a lot of fancy words to say people have to believe that they can be successful. So it's a big job for us to continue to have people believing in the American dream. Is it alive and well? Sure it is. You see it all around you. There are probably many people here who either didn't go to college themselves or they were the first in their family to go to college. Came from ordinary families that are now well off. There's stories everywhere. Think about what's going on in our electoral cycle. On one side, you have people saying, ah, no, no, the American dream isn't there. The system is rigged. Immigrants are ruining it for everybody. Or on the other side, you have people saying, capitalism is terrible and it takes money from the working poor and there is no American dream for the workers, so we've got to have socialism. These are scary concepts. The thing is, is that when we think about, let's say immigrants, for example, I look at immigrants as assets. My family came here as immigrants. Does it mean I'm for open borders? No. But I do think that immigrants, by and large, are people who came looking for freedom and prosperity. I like the way Julian Simon put it. He was an economist. And he said that the ultimate resource is not a commodity, it's human ingenuity. And by that he meant that all of the naysayers who say that our population will get so big that we won't have enough resources and it's doom and gloom because the you know people are getting there's too much population that we have to have population control or that we can't have immigrants we can't absorb people it, it's sort of this naysaying that Julian Simon said he wouldn't scapegoat because he said you know you get more people you find more stuff you find more resources you create more things you have more chance for finding genius the more people you have. So I don't think we have to say it's a zero-sum game. The American